Alright, so what we have here, or what I'm going to show you today, is basically what capacitors do and why they are important. So what we have here is a solar panel, and that actually just goes straight out to a cord which is by, by no means regulated. It's just the direct current, nothing in there. I open this panel up and the only thing in there is the blocking diode, so it doesn't, uh, electricity doesn't flow back into the panel. For instance, if you were charging a battery and, you know, night came and there was no power coming into the panel. But what we have here is just positive and negative leads that go to the panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to hook them up positive to positive, negative to negative. And as soon as I hook this up, watch this, uh, watch this voltage up here. You see how fast that spiked up? And you see how uh, unstable it is, how unsteady it is? That is exactly what uh, we want to avoid when it comes to capacitors. Or that's what capacitors are meant for. They, are, they help regulate the current to prevent these types of spikes so we don't damage delicate electronics. If you look at these, they almost look like little batteries, and that's that's pretty much because that's pretty much what they are. They're almost like little rechargeable batteries. Uh, what they do is, when the current comes in, they uh, take up a charge, so there's not so much of a spike going to whatever the next part may be, whether that's an LED or a regulator or whatever that is. And when the voltage cuts out, these actually start to discharge, so the spike that goes down isn't so so steep. So we're looking at this, it's flashing, you know, anywhere between six and a half to a little over seven volt or seventeen sixteen to seventeen volts. And that's coming directly from the from the panel. Now I don't have it sitting in the sun, but we don't really need to for this demonstration. If we add capacitors into the mix, negative to negative, positive to positive, uh, in case you are wondering or just wanted to know, this is a 16 volt 680 microfarad capacitor and this is a 16 volt 100 microfarad capacitor. Now what, what we do when we wire up capacitors is they just go directly to the positive and negative. They don't, they're not in, in one polarity, they're in both so they can actually regulate what's going in. When you wire them up there's a strip on the side and that strip indicates which side is the negative. So we'll pop the negative on the negative. Short out these capacitors quick. I'm going to show you something. Alright, so now when I hook up the positive right here and it runs through the capacitors, just uh, watch what happens instead of spiking when I hook it up. So now it's hooked up and now it's climbing slowly and steadily. and it's, it's almost topping itself off. So, eh, 17.35 volts we're at, but it, it climbed up steadily instead of spiking. 17.4 volts now. Instead of suddenly spiking, when the current came in and blowing out whatever you had in there. Then these capacitors are large enough and this is such a low load that's uh, being tested on here that when I disconnect it, remove all the power that's going from the panel to the circuit, it still has power. And that is because these capacitors are basically little batteries that are holding the charge and discharging it. And since this is only testing the voltage and not really taking much from it, this will drop very, very slowly. 
but if I, like I just did, just charge it up again quick, pop it in the sun. Alright, pop it in the sun, we're at about 21.8 volts. So, we'll take these off, 21.7, soon enough it'll be 21.6, it's slowly discharging. However, uh, since these are little batteries, all I would have to do is touch the positive and the negative side together, we'd get a little spark because it's discharging, and it would drop out. Like this. And there we go, all the, the power from the capacitor is shorted out and there's no more power left in the circuit. Except for whatever that 0.01 volt is. But that that's what capacitors do, that's why they're important. They prevent voltage spikes and help regulate everything. Obviously you have your voltage regulators and all that, but the capacitors go in there just to make everything even that much smoother. Obviously I was over um, the reason I kept the, the panel in the shade was because these are 16 volt capacitors. I was already topping out what they're rated for and I didn't really want to blow them up. I did salvage these from a charger for a some sort of Polaroid camera thing. Some, I don't know. I can't remember exactly what I got these from but I just took these off the board and they work great. So, Also, uh, what I would recommend is if you are ever going to build any sort of circuitry, I would for sure recommend you buy brand new capacitors. They're super duper cheap at places like Radio Shack, um, but if you have nothing else and you're stuck in a situation that calls for it, that'll work too.